Hello friends, this is Durga again from Technology Mental slash IT Varsity and uh, in this video we will see how to add or remove services from Hadoop. And uh, I will start with a brief introduction. Uh, so add or remove services, uh, it can happen on plain vanilla, plain vanilla Hadoop using Puppet or any distribution uh, like Cloudera, um, Ambari, etc. Cloudera Manager if it is Cloudera distribution, Ambari if it is Hotmox distribution. And for each and every distribution, uh, uh, they, uh, we have to do this add or remove, uh, removing the services. So the rationale behind add or removing services is that uh, all these tools, especially the third party tools, uh, third party distributions comes with pre-package. And uh, if you just use typical installation, um, all the tools will be deployed unnecessarily. And uh, yeah, even though uh, if everything is deployed unnecessarily, you, if you don't use, uh, uh, it might uh, it might cause several issues. One is um, you have you will have more tools need that needs to be monitored. There will be pressure on uh, the uh, the management uh, software to to capture all this information, and also there there will be some memory allocated to those tools whether you use it or not. For example. I'm using Ambari for this introduction uh, to uh, to highlight the points what I'm trying to communicate. Uh, let me restart this one. So, for example, you want to build a um, uh, Hadoop cluster for ETL purpose, and uh, if you think that HBase is not required, um, now if you add HBase and if it is stopped for some reason, unnecessarily you will be getting the alerts. Similarly, there are so many side effects because of that. HBase needs to be configured for some memory and it might occupy some memory in each and every node in the cluster. So for the tools which you actually use, um, you, uh, uh, instead of using memory and other resources for those tools, you will be unnecessarily wasting some memory for these additional tools. So for those reasons, instead of uh, selecting all the services, you should only choose the services that are required. Uh, and ignore the rest of the stuff and uh, uh, and then you have to add them whenever uh, you need this service uh, services uh, to be there on the cluster and sometimes you have to add the service for POC once the POC is done you might want to delete the service and also when it comes to upgrades uh, if, uh, if, if the vendors uh, provide a patch to fix uh, the issues on the components which you were not using uh, still you have to support those things. So like that there are many reasons where you should avoid uh, setting up unnecessary components in the cluster and uh, you should add components whenever they are necessary and you should be deleting them whenever uh, they are not necessary. For that reason add or uh, uh, removing services is very important step. It involves some planning. You, you cannot just blindly add the service uh, depending upon the architect. Uh, uh, you need to first uh, uh, understand the architecture of the service you want to add or delete you need to analyze the dependencies and you, you need all you need to analyze the, uh, the memory uh, configuration changes for the existing components when you add the new component all these things you have to plan before adding a service and also after deleting the service you have to uh, make sure that uh, the existing components are uh, uh, utilizing uh, the cluster uh, 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 utilizing all the resources in the cluster that being said as the, the uh, uh, adding service and uh, deleting service vary from uh, 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 vendor to vendor, I will have a series of videos um, uh, for each of uh, for each of the vendor. Um, uh, for uh, adding uh, adding the service, I will make a video. For deleting the service, I will make another video for each of the vendor. So there will be multiple videos for uh, for uh, this topic over time. And this is one of the crucial steps as part of the Hadoop day-to-day -day operations. That being said, I will sign off for now and um, I will add a, a content related to this uh, demonstrating on each and every vendor. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And if you want to provide the feedback or ask any techno technical question, please use the comment section of the video. And if you like a particular video, please click on the like button. That means a lot for me. Thank you. Bye.